Hi everyone, I'm returning again with another scrapbook haul for you to feast your eyes on. Um, now Christmas is over, I've decided to spend a little bit more into the crafting side of things and have stocked up on a few things over the last month, month and a half and thought I'd share a little haul with you as to what I actually got. Um, first off, I actually want to show you some of the things I've got from Etsy sellers. Um, I'll put all the details into the video so that you can check it out. But first up, I've actually got some wrinkled ribbon and I've never really tried this stuff. I've seen it, it looks awesome. So I decided to grab a few colours and um, yeah, see what I can actually create. So these are the ones that are actually wrapped and I have actually got a couple that have been unwrapped. So there's that colour as well. And then it's like a creamy colour, hopefully you can see that. So all very pretty and hopefully they will turn out to how I want it to be on a creation. Um, the next stuff I actually brought was um, just some ordinary twine or um, what do you call it, jute I suppose you might say. This is May Arts and I have to say that it is really really lovely stuff. It's really nice and fine. So it's sort of the like a lighter colour and then I actually got the darker colour. Or I suppose you might say there's a natural colour. So I got both of those and while I was at this Etsy store I ended up buying some ribbon. Uh, hopefully you can actually see that in the video. Really pretty cream brown sort of look. It's just beautiful, beautiful material. So I can't wait to see that. So that was from the other Etsy store I brought. And from the last Etsy store I decided to actually invest into these little doilies. These are from Michelle Wooderson. Um, she has some awesome things in her store and I can't wait to go back and buy some more. So I ended up actually getting quite a few of those. So they were from Etsy. Now moving on, the next lot of stuff I actually brought from JG's Nook and um, I've been sort of buying quite a bit. She's got some really good um, things in store so make sure you check that store out. I brought some twine and I actually brought this one's called Lemon Drop. Really pretty mandarin. And I got this really pretty lilac colour. Really gorgeous. And I've already got this one. It's called Cappuccino but I decided to stock on stock up on a little bit more. I also brought some buttons from James Doodles which she actually stocks in store. Um, and these, oh, they're just so nice. So make sure you check out, out the store because they have some lovely ranges of these buttons. Really, really sweet. She, Jane actually makes these her own and she does sell them in her own little Etsy store. But as I said, you can buy them through JG's Nook and they're just superb. So I'm starting to gain a few of these little buttons. I'm hoping to use them on another project somewhere along the line. Um, also got some felt. And this is from My Favourite Things. So um, I'm just sort of going to maybe do some die cutting with it. Um, hoping they'll turn out to be just as pretty as what the um, paper tray ink felt is. So it's sort of like a terracotta colour I might say this one would be. And then I've sort of got a chocolate brown. Um, it's sort of like a, I suppose a creamy white. And then there's a green. And you can't really tell in the video here but this one's a really, really, really soft, soft pale blue. So got those ones. Also stocked back up on some gingham cardstock. So I got um, the green, the yellow, the orange, the black, the pink, the red, the brown, and lastly the blue. And I ended up getting 10 sheets of each. Um, I just love this stuff and I seem to be addicted to it right now. So I wanted to make sure I had heaps of it in my craft room. Okay, so moving on to some Hero Arts products. I ended up getting two lots of the white embossing powder. Um, never tried the Hero Arts one before. 
and thought I'd actually give this a go. So I like using white embossing powder, so I brought those. Um, end up buying some Hero Hughes note cards, and this one's called Snow. I've already used a couple out of this and never had used the white ones before. And I have to say they are top notch. I love them. I can't wait to get some more of them. Plus it saves me cutting down my own cards. End up getting, this one's called the Earth Chains, I think it is. And you end up getting three of the colours in that pack. Um, got some more masking tape and this one is just sort of Valentine's look. It's a pink and white. It's got some love hearts, love hearts on it and there's just a plain red. Some more glossy accents. I have already this but as usual I don't, I'm not near a shop so I can't just run out and buy it if I happen to run out. So I like to have that on hand. Um, I end up getting another distress, distress ink pad and this one's frayed burlap. I don't have this one. Another one to add to the collection and I probably have now probably two I think left to get to complete the whole whole range. Um, of course another two blending tools and now onto the stamps. I actually brought some wooden stamps. This one is the envelope pattern. Love this. I've already used it on a card. Can't say enough about it. It is a brilliant background stamp. Great investment. Love it. Got this sweaty little fox. So adorable. I cannot wait to stamp it and get colouring and create a card. Now some clings. And the first one is called Large Blossom. Um, seen quite a few cards made with this and they've turned out really, really beautiful. So, good one. Um, the next cling, I've got Classic Fabric Design. I think this would make a really just, I don't know, beautiful background. You could really do a lot with this stamp. Okay, onto some clear stamps. And I've got quite a few of these. This first one is called Made With Love. I think that's what it's called. Yep, Made With Love. Great sentiments. Really nice and big. So you could actually fill up a bit, a bit more of your card if you wanted to. Um, yep, just perfect. Love this one. It's called Going. And it's a great car... Um, cars and sort of motorbikes for guys. I love this little bug. I can't wait to stamp it. So quite a versatile set there for a lot of making a lot of mail cards which sometimes we all get stuck on. Next one is called Friendly Flags. Could do a lot with this one. Lots and lots of potential. Um, this next one I just love which is called Just Saying Hi. Um, reminds me of my childhood especially this um, stamp here, it's yeah, I just love it. It's so retro, it's very in right now. Retro, so it's just a really great stamp on that one. Uh, the next one is called Delicate Leaf Clusters. This one could be used for anything, I think it's got so much potential. Um, just with the fact that you could use this as a whole stamping background, make your own. Um, great for sympathy cards that sometimes we get a little bit stuck on. Yep, superb, superb stamp set. The next one is called With, With Sympathy. Now, I think this is just the best thing that Hero Arts has come out with. Um, as we know, making one of these cards is always the hardest thing that we ever have to do. Um, and the occasions for those we don't like doing, but for them to set it out for us to have the sayings already there um, just makes it life a little bit easier to make that not so great occasion card. So I love that. Uh, the next one is called Thank You for Being. This is brilliant. It's great sentiments for all your friends out there that you just want to say hi or, you know, thanks for being a great friend. Some really good sentiments. The last one from Hero Arts is this one, and this one is called uh, Wish You Were Here. Now I've already gone ahead, as you can see, and I've used this little chair here. And I have to say, this is probably going to be my all-time favourite stamp for 2011 so far. Um, I just I love it. I love the possibilities with this stamp set. So um, if you're looking to invest, yep, go for it. 
Okay, so there's two other things that I've got from JG's Nook. And the first one is a Pure Innocent stamp. And this one's called Tree Swing. I don't have this one. I don't have any of the boys in this collection. And I think he's just the sweetest thing that could be. So I ended up getting that. And the last one was a Lawn Fawn stamp. And it's called Bannerific. Um, great for putting your sentiments in. Sweet little birds that you could probably make into some Valentines. Because that's where we're heading right now. Um, so yeah, great set. There you have it. My haul for the last month, month and a half. Um, I have a big order from Paper Tray Inc. and Simon Says coming um, within the next, hopefully, next couple of weeks, I suppose. Um, sort of some things I really need to stock up on. Plus, I've had some birthday and Christmas money given to me, so I was able to actually spend a little bit in line. So, yeah, I'll be back again to share what I got from those companies and hope everyone has a great day. I'll talk to you soon.